ChatGPT has just released some new features that allow you to edit images that you've created in ChatGPT. So we're going to have a little look in this video at how you can start using that. And really this kind of technology now is, is getting to the point where you, you, know, you don't even need to become some sort of a Photoshop expert. You can really just use these AI tools like ChatGPT to start doing all kinds of things that would have been very difficult before. So in this little example, I am going to create an image first of all, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you how you can start editing it. Can you create an image of a clown stood in a circus tent looking at the camera? There we go. So now I've asked it just to create one image, but you can actually create uh, multiple images in one go which then give you the chance to sort of pick which one you like as the best. And then you can go and edit and iterate on that example. Now it's pretty quick to create images. As you can see, it's already nearly finished doing that. And with that description, you know, it's not very detailed. Normally, if you were, you know, wanting to do this, you would put in a lot longer description to try and get it exactly the way you want right from the off. But here we go. Here are, oh, it's given us two images as standard. I would say this one is the better one. Let's uh, take a little look at the other one. The other one looks like she's kind of, well, it's yeah, like a crazy female clown wearing a dress. So a bit, bit odd that one, but I'm going to go with, with this one here, the second one of those. So once you click on it, now what you're going to see is this little icon up the top right that says select. So what we can do is we've got now a, a brush basically where we can select any specific area of the image and then type in a new prompt to get the changes made to it that you want to do. So I can adjust the size of the brush as well at the top left here like this, you can see it's really, really tiny. And if I pick the wrong area like that, I can just undo it as well. So you can clear the selection or undo or redo. But now let's just try and remove something from the image then. So the clown currently has like an umbrella, uh, which is a bit dodge as well. I notice there, if I zoom in, you can see he's got the handle in front of him, but the uh, actual brolly there is kind of built into his hat behind. So that the AI is messed up a little bit there. I'm just going to shrink this down a tiny bit so we can be a bit more accurate. And then I'm going to select the umbrella just behind there, or perhaps a parasol might be a more accurate thing, a little tiny parasol. Let's keep going round like that. So I've done it pretty neatly and we'll see if it can do it. I'm going to just shrink it down a little bit more and then just go behind his head like that. There we go. So um, remove the umbrella from behind the clown. And let's see if it can do that for us just by literally prompting what it is we want to happen. And then um, what we'll also do is we'll try some of these new styles out. There's loads of different styles, uh, impressionist, uh, photorealistic, steampunk, a uh, pixel art, Art Nouveau, Gothic, there's loads of different styles we can apply to it. So we'll try a couple of those and see how it goes. So here we go. It's ready to uh, churn out that new image. Done. There you go. And it has successfully removed that from his head. So uh, that's pretty good. That was done quite well. Now let's try and remove some of the little balls that we've got there. So you can keep re-editing the picture. That's no problem. And we'll, we'll try, we'll, uh, get it a little bit smaller. And then we'll try and remove, say, just that one uh, little beach ball there a second. There we go. I do find it's a little bit touchy. There we go. That's it done. So now remove a ball. Let's try and do that and see if it does that successfully. And then we're going to apply some different styles, like maybe watercolor or something, and see if we can get it to do that too. Editing the image. Done. Really good. The ball has been removed, leaving the clown with this circus tent filled with hoops and ribbons. So you can see it successfully uh, moved that out the way as well. So now let's try and uh, apply some styles to it. So can you make the entire image in the style of uh, pixels? So it should just take the exact image as it is and then uh, apply that style to it. And if you would like to have a full list of these styles that you can go and use, 
uh, on any of your images and also have a step-by-step -step instructions of what I'm doing here, then you can jump over to my free group, uh, Chat GPT Users. We've got nearly 10,000 members now and I've done a whole post on it right here for you. So you can go through and learn exactly how to do it. There you go. There's all of the different styles for you as well. And then by all means, you know, submit your images underneath. Show us what you've created using uh, DALI with ChatGPT. I'll be really interested to know. But there's a link underneath the video to this very post if you want to come and join in and follow those instructions. Whoa, so there we go. It's now kind of pixelated the image. It has changed it. So it has changed it from this image but it has done it in pixels. So, uh, and it's done quite a good job of that as well. If I zoom in on it, let me just zoom in. You can see how kind of pixelated it is like that. Now, if I was to then go ahead and ask it, I think maybe if I was to upload that image, let me try this. I'm gonna download that image. Then I'm going to upload that image. There it is. And now I'm gonna say uh, change to a watercolor style. And now see if it will literally just use that image and change it. Or again, like it did previously, it's gonna switch it to a similar image in a watercolor style. So it'd be interesting to see how it works with that. And by the way, you can create images in different sizes as well. So like this is in the kind of one one Instagram kind of post style. You can also do a portrait and a landscape 16 by nine images as well. So you do have the opportunity to do different sizes. Wow, and there we are. So it has changed it to watercolor. It's very similar to our image, but it's not identical, of course. But, you know, as for the actual watercolor style, I think it looks really, really good. Look at that. That, that does look pretty impressive. And, you know, here we are like creating and let's have a little reminder of where we're at here. We're creating and editing images with AI. I mean, a couple of years ago, this would have just not been on the cards. So things have come a long way. And I uh, hope you found this useful. If you did, please do like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to join my free group to get access to this full detailed list here of all the styles and then instructions on how to create and edit images with ChatGPT. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.